Hey guys, so today I have swatches of some more new polishes from Painted Polish. This is the Odds and Ends So Long Summer Trio. Then I have the But First Coffee Collection. This was the September release and I am a sloth. So this one right here, which is Love You A Latte, is already sold out and is not going to be restocked. So I'm not including this in the video. That's why this intro looks like this because I have to redo it. But I do have the other five polishes in this collection as well as the trio for a total of eight polishes. I will link the Painted Polish website down below where you guys can find these. I will have my coupon code over here, which will save you some money. This is only works on individual shades, not full collection sets because those are already discounted. I'll also have that down in the description box. Eight polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Rainbow Roast and this is described as a rainbow of metallic and holographic glitters in a sandy brown curly base. And we are back over these gel extensions with a nude base color. This is the perfect curly. You guys know I love the Painted Polish Curly Formulas. I say that all the time. They are opaque enough to cover in two coats, but sheer enough to see all of the glitter, and they're just always perfect. I love any kind of curly where you mix rainbow glitter with, I mean, really any colored base, but especially a colored base that's not white, so this one is a win for me. There is going to be texture. It is a glitter polish, so treat it like a glitter polish. You might want to peel off base coat. You might want to use straight-up acetone to remove it. Just however you deal with glitter polish, that's how you're going to have to deal with this one. So that is two coats of Rainbow Roast. The next polish is called Matte About Mocha, and this is crushed metallic gold flakes, gold metallic glitters, and ultra holographic micro flakes in a milk chocolate curly base. And this does dry matte, which I was not aware of when I was swatching it and totally not paying attention. So I have a little clip at the end of it on a nail wheel matte because I didn't let it dry down completely on my nails. So again, great formula. This applies very smoothly. It has that perfect balance of pigment where the glitter shines through, but the base is still nice and opaque in two coats. Now it does dry matte and there is glitter in it. So if you want to smooth it out, but keep the matte finish, you're going to have to add a matte top coat to it, or you can just use a glossy top coat if you don't care about it being matte. You're also still going to have some texture because there is actual glitter in here, but those little gold flakies, which make up most of the sparkles are not going to be as textured as a glitter. So that is two coats of Matte About Mocha. The next polish is called I Like Big Mugs, and this is a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic glitters, and micro holographic flakies in a dark sienna jelly base. Again, great formula. The jelly base on this one builds up very nicely for me in two coats, but I can see where with a very white nail line and very thin coats, you might still be able to see some nail line through there. I didn't have that issue. Obviously, I've got this base color on. I don't think I would have had that issue with my nails just short and natural, but I still think I could see that happening here. And despite this being a lot of glitter, it's not thick at all, but you will still want a good thick top coat to smooth everything out. So that is two coats of I Like Big Mugs. The next polish is called Liquid Love, and this is described as crushed metallic gold flakies and pink to orange color shifting iridescent flakies in a rich coffee jelly base. Great formula in this one as well. The jelly base is a little bit sheer, but it did build up completely for me in two coats. Most of the elements in this one are flaky, so they're going to lay a lot flatter than a glitter. They're not going to be as difficult to remove, but you will still want to use a nice top coat because you could probably have a little bit of bumpiness just from all of the elements that are packed in there. So that is two coats of Liquid Love. The next polish is called Dark Roast Dreamin', and this is a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitter, pink galaxy holographic glitter, and micro holographic flakies in an espresso jelly base. So this is pretty much the same polish as I like Big Mugs, just in a darker jelly base. The darker jelly base does cover a little bit better than that one did, so I'm more confident in saying that this is a solid two-coat polish. It is going to dry textured. There is a lot of glitter in here. Reflective glitter especially seems to be like extra textured for some reason. So you will want a good top coat and this is going to be more difficult to remove. But I really like this. I like that it's kind of a cooler brown rather than a really warm brown. I feel like I don't see that super often in brown polishes that have glitter mixed into them anyway. But I will say that I don't think that that pink galaxy holographic glitter that's in this polish and in I Like Big Mugs, I don't think it stands out quite as well against this base color as it does in the other one. So that is two coats of Dark Roast Dreamin'. So now we're moving on to the Odds and Ends trio. This is Rainbow Rhythm. This is described as a rainbow of metallic and holographic glitters in a dusty seafoam curly base. I know this says that it's a rainbow mix, but I feel like it's very heavy on the 
purple and blue colors or maybe they just stand out a little bit more because of the base color that it's in either way this is another perfect curly from painted polish good formula perfect balance of pigment lots of glitter you will want top coat and it will be a little bit more difficult to remove so that is two coats of rainbow rhythm the next polish is Sunset Serenade, and this is Ultra Holographic Micro Flakies and Pink to Orange Color Shifting Iridescent Flakies in a Squishy Orange Jelly Base. The Holographic Micro Flakies that are in this are micro, micro flakies. They make the whole thing look more like a scattered holographic polish than anything that would be considered a glitter. It's very, very nice. The flakies that are in there are a little bit more subtle. They're very similar to the base color, so they just kind of peek out in the right lighting. Really good formula on this one and covered completely for me in two coats. Also, those iridescent flakies are the only thing that could really give you any texture in here, and I don't think they're going to give that much. So that is two coats of Sunset Serenade. And the last polish is called Seek the Sea, and this is described as blue metallic flakies, pink to purple color shifting iridescent flakies, and micro holographic flakies in an Aegean blue jelly base. So great formula on this one as well. This covered completely for me in two coats. Those iridescent flakies stand out very nicely. They're a nice contrast to the base color, but even though those little metallic blue flakies kind of blend in with the base color or they're like a similar shade, they stand out so much in this polish. They are so, so beautiful. Maybe a little bit of texture from everything that's in there, but you won't need a crazy amount of top coat or anything. So that is two coats of Seek the Sea. Rainbow Roast is my favorite. No one should be surprised. It's rainbow glitter. It's a Corelli. That's what I'm into always. So I really like this one. I also really like that the rainbow glitter actually stands out really well in this kind of unusual colored base. Nothing gets muted or lost in there. So that one is my favorite. So those are some more new polishes from Painted Polish. I will, I'm really trying hard to try to be a little bit more punctual with these videos. Um, the last couple months have been really like weird and disorganized for me and I'm trying to get my together. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will link the painted polish website down below where you guys can check these out. I will have my coupon code over here on the screen and in the description box, and I will talk to you later.